Hey everyone, so here I'm doing exercise 6.3, 8th question. This is from square and square root of a class 8th. So the question is, 2025 plants are to be planted in a garden in such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. Find the number of rows and the number of plants in each row. So let us see what we know from the question. So in the question they have given uh, only one number that is 2025 so 2025 plants are to be planted in a garden such a way that the number of rows contains many has many plants as number of rows and they're also asking us to find out number of rows and number of plants in each row so before we solve this let us take a small example suppose I have a nine plants okay I want to plant them in such a way that number of rows and how many rows are there that many plants should be there in each row. So I can arrange this 9 plants as, so I, I'll get 3 rows here like 1, 2, 3, this is 1 row, I have a 3 plants, 2nd row again with 3 plants and 3rd row again with 3 plants. So you can see I got 3 rows and in each row I have a 3, 3 plants, yes, number of rows and number of plants in each row are same here. But how do I get this? So if you look at the number here 9, 9 is a perfect square, yes? And if I find the square root of 9, it will be 3 or 3 square is 9 or we can write 9 square root is or square root of 9 is 3. Similarly, here also in the question 2025 is actually a perfect square number. We have to find out by finding a square root of this number. So let us write down what we know from the question. So here number of rows will be same as number of plants in each row this will be equal to square root of 2025 so if i find the square root i'll get the answer here so number of rows is equal to number of plants in each row is equal to square root of 2025 now we can find out this by two method one is a long division one is a prime factorization so here i'm doing a prime factorization it is an easy method so 2025 is divisible by three table so first I'm going to start with 3. This odd number it will not go into a table. So here I'll get uh, 6 3s are 18 or 3 6 are 18. 2 is left. Then 3 7s are 21. 1 is left. So 3 5s are 15. Again this goes in 3 table. 3 2s are 6. Again 3 2s are 6. 1 is left. 3 5s are 15. 225 goes again in 3 table. 3 7s are 21. 1 is left. 15. 3 5s are 15. Again, this goes in 3 table. So 3 2s are 6. 1 is left. That makes 15. 3 5s are 15. Now 25 goes in 5 table. I'm going to write this on the other side. So 25 goes in 5 table, not in 3 table. 5 5s is 25. So here I'll get 5 and then 5. 5 5s are 25 and then 5 1s are 5. Once we're done with prime factorization, I'm going to rewrite what I got all the factors here. So 2025 is equal to uh, all the factors. So here we got 3 into 3 and 3 into 3 again and then 5 into 5. Now once you have written, you have to start pairing up the factors. So you can see I get a pair of 3. Two pairs of 3 I get. This is first pair, this is second pair, this is third pair of 5. So this means this 2025 is a perfect square. We can find a square root of it. So square root will be nothing but from each pair you take one one factor. So from here I'll take one three. From second I'll take one more three. And from third pair I'll take one five. Just multiply it. You will get the answer. So three three is a nine. Nine five is a 45. So the answer will be 45. So square root of 2025 is 45. This means that number of rows will be 45. And number of plants in each row will also be a 45. So that's it. I hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching.